clemency decision may be imminent for imprisoned Oregon ranchers. This was posted yesterday. A decision may be imminent on presidential clemency for two Oregon ranchers serving five-year minimum mandatory sentences for arson, according to farm groups seeking their release. Arson. They are ranchers, Dwight and Stephen Hammond. They have a ranch in Harney County, Oregon. This involved the Maller Refuge takeover. If you don't know what I'm talking about, if you weren't around for everything that was going on in Oregon about two years ago. Was it two years ago? Yeah, I think it was two years ago now. Wow. Um, then you're going to have to do some research to bring yourself up to speed to understand what's happening to Dwight and Stephen. Dwight now is actually 78. His son is 50. They were convicted in 2012 of setting fire to range land, land close to their ranch near Burns, Oregon, for which they were initially sentenced to prison terms of three months and one year, which they, which they served out. But that wasn't good enough for our BLM, our federal government, who is stealing land from not only ranchers, but an awful lot of Americans. They are getting their land stolen. Either it's eminent domain or it's the BLM. All right, what happened to Dwight, Dwight and Steve Hammond is so incomprehensibly reprehensible, clear on its face, so corrupt, so They were prosecuted under a terrorism statute, a terrorism statute, for doing what ranchers do, lighting backfires. I will link below to uh, all of the articles. There's another one, It's Time to Free the Hammonds. This was posted yesterday. And here again, clemency decision may be imminent for imprisoned Oregon ranchers. A subscriber sent me this petition. It's on the White House website. Sign it, please. Can you circulate this petition? The more names, perhaps Trump will pardon the Hammonds. Innocent Americans serving a five year sentence for lighting a backfire, which is what ranchers do. No one, no damage, no, no, nobody harmed, nothing. And in fact, let me just play a few minutes of this here. It is Greg Walden, who is the representative of the uh, Hammonds. He's the Harney County Oregon representative in Congress and he's on the floor this took place in 2016 well I'll just tell you uh, 24 minutes and he is showing how Dwight and <laughs> Stephen should not be in jail but he also talks about the fires that have occurred in that area and he talks about there's no but in that area, it's not an urban or suburban area. It's a ranch with uh, land that is for grazing um, and nothing's out there. So no structures were burned. No cows got hurt. Nobody got hurt. The fires that the BLM has set in that area encroaching upon private land. The BLM was not thrown in jail. The thousands upon thousands, like hundreds of these forest fires that go on, or wildfires out in this area, have burned 500,000. Or another fire, 129,000. I don't know the numbers. Dwight and Stephen Hammond, who are serving a five-year prison 
term, who were prosecuted under a terrorism statute, their backfire, it burned 139 acres. That's it. 139 acres, no harm, but they're sitting in jail. All right, the BLM, the federal government, they steal land. Um, and this is one of the ways. If, if you don't just hand over your land to the federal government, they're going to destroy you. They will do everything. They don't stop. And they didn't stop with the Hammonds. They got them in jail. We have a very sick country. Um, I will link below to this video, which is, yeah, I didn't even remember posting this video. And this was back January 2016. It was another Hammond petition. And I am telling you, especially you Trump supporters, call the White House. Demand that Trump pardon the Hammonds. You got to make your voice loud, which involves an awful lot of people. Sign the petition, call the White House. I'll link below to this. David Clark talking about what happened to the Hammonds. If you don't, if you you just don't know. And I don't even remember posting this video. Bundy's a free, case dismissed, Hammonds are not. And in this video, I read a lot of this article. Appeal to Trump administration to commute the sentence of Dwight and Steve Hammond. And this article, it educates you in terms of what the Department of Interior, the BLM, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, what they have been doing to the Hammonds and all of the corruption that took place to get the Hammonds in jail to destroy them. And if you don't want to read it, you can click on this video, go to like four minutes and 50 seconds, and I read some of it. Please circulate this information. Please, please, just, I understand those who say petitions don't work. But if clemency is imminent, your signature could add more weight. Calling the White House, demanding the Hammonds be free, will add even more weight. You have to understand, this is happening to innocent Americans. Innocent Americans are sitting in jail. It can happen to you for whatever reason. Trust me, if it does happen to you, you will want people calling, signing for your freedom. All links are below.